Welcome to my channel, Historical Images, where I share rare and historic photos that change the world. Here you will find incredible images that capture important moments in history, from major world events to intimate and personal moments. The 1930s was a decade that produced some of the most iconic and beautiful cars in automotive history. These cars were built during a time when design was king and manufacturers were pushing the limits of engineering and creativity. From the sleek lines of the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic to the luxurious curves of the Cadillac V16, the cars of the 1930s were truly works of art. In this article, we'll take a look back at some of the most beautiful cars of the 1930s. We'll explore the design elements that made these cars so special, from the long hoods and flowing fenders to the intricate details and luxurious finishes. We'll also delve into the history of each car, examining how they were built and what made them stand out from the crowd. Whether you're a car enthusiast or simply appreciate beautiful design, these vintage photos are sure to captivate your imagination and transport you back to a time when the automobile was more than just a means of transportation, it was a symbol of status and style. The Rolls-Royce Phantom I Junkier Coupe is a legendary automobile renowned for its unique and stunning design. The car was created by Belgian coach builder Junkier in 1935 and was based on a 1925 Rolls-Royce Phantom I chassis. The design of the Phantom I Junkier Coupe is characterized by its aerodynamic and futuristic shape, which was considered avant-garde for its time. The car's sleek, elongated body featured a tapered rear end, a pointed nose, and a low roofline that gave it a sporty and aggressive appearance. One of the most striking features of the car is its large, curved windscreen, which seamlessly blends into the roof and gives the impression of a single, uninterrupted piece of glass. The car's bodywork is made entirely of aluminum, which allowed Junkier to achieve the car's distinctive curves and contours. Inside, the Phantom I Junkier Coupe features a luxurious and opulent interior, with sumptuous leather seats, plush carpets, and an array of chrome and wood accents. The car was designed as a one-off creation for a wealthy European family, and as such, no two Junkier coupes are exactly alike. The Bugatti Type 35 is an iconic race car design produced by Bugatti at their Molchian premises between 1924 and 1930. It was extremely successful when raced by the factory works team. It was also bought by a diverse roster of privateer clientele from around the world. It pioneered the concept of a holistically conceived, race-ready car available for purchase. The arch-slash-egg-shaped radiator is emblematic, as is the rear of the car. The tapered stern has been called a Bordino tail and Ettore Bugatti may have been influenced by the shape of the earlier Fiat 804 driven and modified by Pietro Bordino. The car has also become synonymous with being the first to use cast alloy wheels. The Type 35 was phenomenally successful, winning over 1,000 races in its time. It took the Grand Prix World Championship in 1926 after winning 351 races and setting 47 records in the two prior years. At its height, Type 35 averaged 14 race wins per week. Bugatti won the Targa Florio for five consecutive years, from 1925 through 1929, with the Type 35. The Dwesenberg Model J was a luxury automobile produced by the Dwesenberg Automobile and Motors Company from 1928 to 1937. The car was powered by a massive 6.9-liter straight-eight engine that produced 265 horsepower making it one of the most powerful cars of its time. It could reach speeds of up to 119 miles per hour, which was a remarkable achievement for a car of that era. The Model J was known for its opulent styling and luxurious amenities, which included a custom-built body, plush interiors, and advanced engineering features such as hydraulic brakes and four-wheel independent suspension. 
Its elegant design and exceptional performance made it a favorite among Hollywood celebrities, wealthy socialites, and industrial tycoons. Despite its high price tag, the Dwesenberg Model J was a commercial success, with approximately 480 units produced during its production run. The 710 SSK Trossi Roadster was designed by Carlo Felice Trossi, an Italian racing driver and engineer, in collaboration with the Mercedes-Benz design team. It was based on the Mercedes-Benz SSK sports car, which was already a high-performance machine in its own right. The Trossi Roadster was powered by a 7.1-liter supercharged inline-six engine that produced 300 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful cars of its era. Its advanced engineering features included a four-speed manual transmission, hydraulic brakes, and a torsion bar suspension system. But what truly set the Trossi Roadster apart was its stunning design. Its long lid, flowing lines, and low-slung body gave it a sleek and aerodynamic appearance that was unlike anything else on the road at the time. The car's unique styling elements, such as the vertical grille and the exposed spare tire, became defining features of the Mercedes-Benz brand. The Mercedes-Benz W25 was a Grand Prix racing car designed by Daimler-Benz AG for the 1934 Grand Prix season, in which new rules were introduced and no championship was held. In 1935, the European Championship was resumed, and it was won by Rudolf Caracciola in a W25. In modified form, the W25 remained in use until 1937, when it was succeeded by the Mercedes-Benz W125. The Citron Traction Avant is the world's first unibody front-wheel drive car. A range of mostly four-door saloons and executive cars were made with four- or six-cylinder engines, produced by the French manufacturer Citron from 1934 to 1957. Approximately 760,000 units were produced. Whilst front-wheel drive and four-wheel independent suspension had been established in the mass market by Auto Union and subsequently others some years before, the Traction Avant pioneered integrating these into a mass production, crash-resistant, unitary, monocoque body. Additionally, the car was also an early adopter of rack and pinion steering. Although the car's name emphasized its front-wheel drive power delivery, Traction Avant literally means front traction. The car stood out at least as much by its much lower profile and stance, made possible by the absence of a separate chassis under the car's unitary body, sharply distinguishing it visually from its contemporaries. The Auburn Speedster was an American car, manufactured by the Auburn Automobile Company of Auburn, Indiana, and manufactured in Union City, Indiana. A total of 887 cars were manufactured between 1928 and 1936, across three series, 1928 to 1930 with eight and big eight engines, the V12 series from 1931 to 1934, and the dramatic, iconic 1935-36 supercharged 8. A water-cooled inline 8 for 6-liter engine developed up to 150 horsepower, allowing the Speedster to reach a max speed of 104 miles per hour, 167 kilometers per hour. The first two series were designed by stylist Alan Leamy. The Auburn 851 Speedster of 1935 was styled by designer Gordon Garrick, who also was responsible for the Cord Model 810. Al Jenkins broke 70 America speed records in the 1935 car. Designed by Friedrich Geiger, a German designer who gave us automotive gems like the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing, Mercedes-Benz W113 Pagoda and Mercedes-Benz 600 Limousine, the 540K Special was built in only 32 examples. Sporting a supercharged 5.4-liter inline 8 that developed up to 180 horsepower, it wasn't some of the fastest cars available. It was, however, one of the largest, most luxurious, and most expensive cars you could buy in the 30s. 
In 1937, Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring ordered a 540K, in his favorite color of Luftwaffe blue with his family crest on both doors. It included armor-plated sides and bulletproof glass. Nicknamed the Blue Goose, Goering was often photographed in the car. On May 4, 1945, the U.S. Army, C Company, 326th Engineers, 101st Airborne Division Screaming Eagles entered Berchtesgaden, and on finding the car took possession. Major General Maxwell Taylor used the car as his command vehicle in West Germany until it was commissioned by the U.S. Treasury. Shipped to Washington, D.C., it successfully toured the United States in a victory bond tour. In 1956, the car was auctioned off by the U.S. Army at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland and sold to Jacques Tunick of Greenwich, Connecticut, with a high bid of $2,167. If you write on the channel, leave your like and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive my videos.